Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. In today's graduate class, I've created a Skyrim mod that will spawn a random enemy every single time I'm hit. So if I'm in the middle of white one here, and I walk up to, let's say, Lilith, and then she hits me, every single hit, every time that I am hit, a new random enemy will spawn into the open. And it could be anything. Could be a dragon, a mammoth, a skeleton. Now you might be thinking this mod will make Skyrim harder to play, especially stealth missions, but I would argue the opposite. I actually believe this mod will make stealth missions easier. And to prove it, I'm gonna play various missions in the Thieves Guild quest line, starting with mission one, the pickpocket sequence. Now this mission's pretty simple. Bryn Yolf is going to distract the townsfolk while you grab a potato, and then you very carefully plant it in Bran Shea's pockets, which is going to incriminate him without anyone noticing. Shh, 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 shh. Why you? <laughs> oh, shit, he caught me putting potatoes into his... Oh, no! Shit! Wait, okay, this is fine. As long as I'm very stealthy. So, my hypothesis is I can get out of a sticky situation if somebody's attacking me, right? All I have to do is cause a distraction and leave. So if someone catches you thieving, just spawn units like a smoke bomb and you can make your escape. And within a few minutes, they'll completely forget about you because they're all dead. Oh, Bran Shea died. So that works. And now you can just continue the mission like nothing happened. All of the people stop doing things. I think they're probably waiting on Bran Shea to say the next line. And I think there's one obvious solution here. we cause another distraction. Oh, oops, I got hit again. Oh, I think I'm in the line of fire over there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, let me get out of here. Now, let's say the guards arrest you for murdering everybody, and you're thinking of sneaking out of jail using that bucket glitch. But if you're not careful, the bucket glitch can actually hurt you. Oh, no, that hit me. No, 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 no. I'm sleeping, I'm serving my time in jail. And we're good. So. I'll admit at this point, the mod makes things way, way worse if you get caught breaking the law, because you, you kill everybody. But let's assume that you're actually a good thief and move into mission two. First, head to the Thieves Guild down in the sewers, and Bryn Yolf will ask you to intimidate a bunch of townsfolk for money. I mean, we could absolutely destroy them and their children and families and anyone they've ever known or loved, right? That's how you send a message. What's more important is that you get the message across. Get the message across. I'm reading you loud and clear, Bryn Yolf. I don't want any of them killed. No. Oh. Now, there's a few ways you can intimidate somebody. You can just damage their valuables. That took so... Wait, what? Oh, shit. Hey, you want to brawl now? But if you choose to brawl the townspeople, you will send a very strong message. Got a message for you. Don't say I didn't warn you! Let's go! It's just you, me, and that skeleton, and that werewolf, and that troll, and that skeleton. You need to stop hitting me, lady. <laughs> You're making this a lot worse for yourself. Okay. I think I won. After you've won the fight, go grab her valuables and you'll beat the mission. And we did it. That's mission two done. Now on to mission three, the Golden Glow Estate. Super Poggers, if you don't beat this, you must drink a quart of skunk milk. Is that a thing? And I have a follow-up question, because I've always wondered this. Why don't we eat dog cheese? Why have we never eaten dog cheese? You could totally do it. Why are we allowed to go make cheese out of goat's milk? Dogs make milk? Now, Golden Glow Estate is a two-part mission. I'm not, like, I'm not saying I necessarily want to do it. I'm just asking, why don't we eat dog cheese? First part, you'll have to burn three beehives that are on the island. Human cheese? Can we make human cheese? Is that a thing? The challenge there is all the mercenaries guarding them. Human cheese? Wait, this is a thing? Where does all the cheese in Skyrim come from? There are not a lot of cows in the game. <laughs> and it's not all goat cheese. And there's a lot of dogs! The second part of the mission is sneaking into the Golden Glow Mansion. Even better make dog butter and put it on some toast. <laughs> dog butter! You must sneak all the way to the owner's room and steal the mansion key from him. If there's a company that makes ethically farmed dog cheese, then I want to make dog yogurt and label it as Doger. Dogger? <laughs> is it Dogger? And so, I headed off to Golden Glow Estate. I would love if I could lactate, because I can make 
Duggart and sell it as like a premium Patreon tier. And so I headed off to Golden Glow Estate. My wife came in and found me milking the dog for dog cheese. That's when the divorce happened. And so I headed off to Golden Glow. I came into the room to find my husband. And so I headed off to Golden Glow Estate and we're going to start by burning the bees. I think this is where hypothesis number two comes into play. I think Golden Glow Estate is where encountering difficult enemies and intentionally spawning units could really work. Okay. Shh. Time to end this. Okay, they found me. So what I'm gonna do is offer myself up. Uh, they made a cow, they made a werewolf. And I'm just gonna let them make a few friends. Uh, okay, those, that seems like enough friends. And now, I've created a smoke bomb. I book it over to the bees. Beehives are done. The Pinkie Pie smoke bomb is still going off. Now I go over to the house. Sneak into the house with no one the wiser. Next up, sneak through the entire house and find the owner. Oh my god, these poor dogs. <laughs> oh, shh, shh. Even if he detects me, create a smoke bomb of random enemies and I bail. Okay, this is fine. As long as I don't move, create a few distractions. And now I bail! Okay, we need to create a distraction. <laughs> you just have to be very quiet. Pretty sure that's taken care of. And here is my target. Oh my god. You sick bastard. You've been milking the bees! I knew it! Oh god. Alright. This guy's dead. He's who I needed to kill. Now I just need to get out without dying. Ah! Oh, juked! Take some money. Don't mind if I... Oh my god! How do I leave? How do I leave? How do I leave? How do I leave? Oh! Ah! I did it. That actually went super smooth. So, despite having no clothes and no weapons, every part of this stealth mission was vastly easier with the smoke bombs of random enemies, which means this mod does in fact improve your stealth-based missions in Skyrim assuming no one needs to stay alive. But there's still one more very important question to answer here. Does this mod improve stealth missions if a random enemy spawns every time anyone is hit? Pull the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Uh-oh. First immediately. First refrain immediately. No. No, it does not. Well, that's it for today's Skyrim class. Join us next week when we delve into the hidden culinary <laughs> oh arts of God. milking a horker and then refining that milk into some sweet vanilla horker what? nerd. It's true! You can make dog cheese! <laughs>